quick trick. Hey guys, Danielle from JKI here with a quick trick for LabVIEW. Today I'm going to show you how to tab outside of a cluster. So let's say you've got two clusters on the front panel of a UI and you want to be able to tab in between the elements on it. Let's say you want to tab from here to here, which you can do automatically, but then you want to jump from here down here. Currently, this is not supported, so let's check it out. If I just drop a JKI state machine on the block diagram, I'll not cover up my, my cluster two, which I would normally give a more descriptive name. And so now I have my JKI state machine, I can run it, and I can show how I can tab, but it's only going to tab between those things within the cluster. Frustrating, right? Not totally intuitive, especially if you have your clusters set up such that it's not obvious that they're clusters, and honestly, what user of your software is going to know that these are clusters anyway? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to register for the last control in the clusters key down filter event for the tab. So I'm going to create a new case. I'm going to go for my radio button one, which is the last element in that first cluster. And I'm going to go for key down the filter event, which is the one with the question mark. Now, first thing that we want to make sure that we're going to do is we're going to discard it. And we're also going to want to make sure that we are filtering for the tab button being pressed, which is scan code 15. Um, so when that is pressed, we want to discard our key down event. And we want to create a property node setting key focus to the first control in the next cluster, or basically to the control that we want to go to after that. One thing that you could do is you could uh, you could pay attention to your tabbing order, and you could set uh, programmatically it to the right right control. But I'm just gonna do it manually here to this one. The Doing that fancy stuff is an exercise left for the viewer. So in the default case, when it's not the tab button, we're going to uh, not discard the event and allow LabVIEW to do whatever it would normally do. Um, but we will set key focus on that if we do hit the tab button. So let's see if that works. There we go. Thank you guys very much for watching our quick trick with LabVIEW.